Oh, it's better. Right. Uh, nice little workout. I feel ready for the day. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to replace a full screen and digitizer uh, assembly on a Tesco Huddle 2. Uh, that's the first customer of the day. And after that, I've got an iPad. Don't know what's wrong with it yet. Um, we'll find out when we get there. Uh, a few other bits to do. Uh, so, yeah, stay tuned for the tutorial videos to follow. So, uh, we have Tesco Huddle, um, pink, Ooh, very nice, uh, this has a broken digitizer and the LCD is also broken so we're going to replace both of these. Uh -huh. Okay, so this pink one is now going to become a white one. Cool, okay, so... Hmm, let's go ahead and uh, pop this open. Let's see if this can get in there. There's a normally uh, fairly straightforward to open. But... Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Oh, break the seal. Oh, lovely jubbly. Right, so we're just going to go around this now. Um, these opening tools as you can see here basically a guitar pick uh, you can get these quite quite cheap on eBay they come in little packs you get these little things and uh, some other bits and bobs in there and yeah they're, they're pretty good um, they don't last very long uh, you'll probably open a few devices with them and then they're, they're worn out obviously they're made from plastic uh, you can get metal ones but uh, I prefer using plastic ones um, all I now <laughs> see uh, be a bit a little bit careful around the charging port here um, also and here as well these buttons just, just be a little bit gentle um, it might look like I'm doing this quite heavy-handed but I've done so many of these uh, maybe I'm a bit used to it um, so yeah we're just gonna uh, cut the height of the corners That's it. Um, be a little bit firm with it uh, they are obviously made to be opened up. Um, the screens on these are not fully bonded. Um, basically, what that means is, um, oops, turn it on. Uh, basically, you have a digitizer, which is like a thin layer of glass, which makes the device touch, and that sits on top of the actual LCD screen. Uh, most of the time, they're bonded around the edge. Um, Sometimes they're fully bonded across completely, so they're like sandwiched together. Um, so I would always check that before buying a part, because uh, you may buy the digitizer separate. And a lot of people will sell the digitizer separate, even though uh, the device you've bought before is fully bonded to the LCD screen. So it's practically impossible to separate. Um, I have seen it done, but it's, it's just not worth it. You've got a pan extra for the screen as well. Uh, and just replacing the whole thing, uh, it just makes it so much easier. Um, but yeah, there's quite a few uh, models that are fully bonded, but most are not. Um, these ones I don't think are fully bonded, but um, I'm replacing both anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, this is giving me a bit of a, a grind here, this last little bit, this should be cool. So uh, first thing we want to do is uh, remove remove the battery. Uh, so we'll just uh, gently just gently push that. Out. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Come on, that's it. Okay, that's the battery disconnected. Um, okay. Uh, obviously, some screws need to come out. Uh, so that will be next. Uh, 
So uh, we're going to want to remove. Uh, we've got some screws here for the battery. Uh, one here, uh, DC socket, uh, speak all. That's the come out as well. Um, yeah, couple here on the main logic board. Uh, then obviously a camera speaker. Uh, then will be removed. Uh, and then basically uh, this will just fit uh, inside our, our new assembly here. Um, put the back back on. Job done. Fairly straightforward job. <coughs> okay, so uh, let's go ahead and remove those screws. Okay, so now <coughs> uh, I believe. Uh, do these lift up? I don't know. Not the lift up here. Um, yeah. So basically, these will just lift up here on this latch here. Um, uh, literally like that. Uh, sometimes these connectors they push in. Sometimes these back little clips here lift up. It's quite hard to tell sometimes with some of these. But um, right, okay, yeah. So we'll uh, obviously that one. That one's done. Um, uh, could probably uh, uh, just remove that. I think that can come out. Yep, there's one. Uh, there's two. Um, you can be a little bit heavy handed with them, obviously be careful not to break them, that's what you want to do, but they're not quite as flimsy as you'd expect. Um, maybe we'll get these plastic openings on these ones, I think these are the same, I believe, yes, so they'll just pop up like that. Okay, okie dokie, alright, uh, what's next? Uh, this one as well, up she goes, uh, ah, this one here has the uh, has a bit of tape across it, so. Ah, that's the remaining screw. Yeah, so if we pull that off, put that aside. Uh, there's one more screw there actually to come out. Remove that. There we go. Cool. Okay, right, so if we remove the battery first, like that. Um, is that stuck? No, these are not. Sometimes these are stuck down, so check that. Uh, okay, uh, so I think we'll go with the components next. Let's go for the camera uh, ah yes the camera's stuck that's right now I remember um okay we'll get to that in a minute um it's not that hard to remove it doesn't require a heat gun uh, well you could use one but okay so let's just lift this up gently okay okay uh, we also see this 21 here this is the speaker it's going to have to be removed. Um, be really careful with this because this is so, so tiny. I'm going to. That's it. Okay, so there's your main logic board or motherboard, whatever you want to call it. That side there. Okay, um, next. Uh, yes, the speaker's stuck down as well. Okay, right. Uh, camera. Tiny. <laughs> Um, is it speaker glued? Yes, it is. Um, right, uh, let's go, let's take these off first. Uh, now these here, these just lift up. Uh, if my memory calls correctly, yeah, they do, they just pop up like that. Okay. Um, this you could, um, if this is not glued, I can't remember if this is down or not if it is we'll remove the speaker uh, I think it is yeah so again this little connector here the speaker uh, it's gonna have to come out so really gently lift that probably looks like I'm being heavy handed with it but I'm not okay okay that there Duh. okay um Right, so just these here to remove. Um, oh, it's a bit noisy out there. Oh, that's better. Right, so uh, you can use a heat gun uh, removing these, but again, they are stuck down. They feel like they're not going to move, but they are just stuck. Um, these are the uh, connecting points to the uh, digitizer, I believe, on the screen. Um, so, don't worry too much about them if you damage them. If we just. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's stuck down. Really gently. There we go. You see here that 
adhesive there. Um, yeah, so just very gradually prise them out. Uh, same again for the camera. Be a bit careful with the camera because okay, I think this is coming up okay. Yeah, and obviously you can as well gently with the copper. little camera right um what does that leave us ah this one here the other speaker um again just sort of gently i mean i'm using the opening saw here uh that again you can purchase on ebay for literally a couple of quid um you get a pack of them sometimes you can get them free when you buy because your tires and screen assemblies etc Okay, there's the other speaker. Right, so that's, yeah, that's really all we need. Um, yeah, so that can go in the bin. See you later. Okay, uh, pink huddle turned into a white huddle. Mm, so this is an original part. Um, I don't know if you can get copies, but I wouldn't recommend using one. Um, as with most things. Uh, probably still made in China, though. <laughs> uh, right, so. Uh, let's turn it around. Let's turn it around. Um, Okay, so what should we do first? Hmm, uh, let's put the speakers back first. Uh, I think, oh, I think it was this way. Yeah, so we'll go there. Uh, board will go in there. I think, yeah. Like that. Yeah, that's that, that's that. Cool. Um, this one, this way. in like that. Um, oh, other speaker. Uh, no, hold on. It's a camera, wasn't it? Yeah, let's do that first. That's the fiddly part. Let's put that back there like that. There we go. Um, then the other camera goes there, I believe. Not there or that way. I think it's that way. We'll soon find out. Let's put the speaker in first. Okay. Yep, that works about right. Excuse me. Oh, I do love my tea. <laughs> mm. Right, um, camera. Oh. I think it goes that way around. We'll find out in a minute. <laughs> uh, motherboard. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so a little bit fiddly that one. Um just have to be gentle, play about a bit so it gets in there. Uh, oh, these are always fiddly, I hate these. Taking them out is quite easy. Putting them back in is a little bit more difficult. Uh, obviously you've got the white line here. Uh, that obviously needs to be uh, flush like that, so you can either just about see it or not see it at all. Flip it over, flip that one done. That went quite well. Okay, this one again. Really gently, I think that looks about right. Yep, okay, that's fine. It's plugged in that end. Uh, we left this one in, we didn't touch this one. Okay, put it like that. Um, we'll do the speaker one first, I think. Mm. That's really fiddly, that is. Um, again, it's not really. Oh, no, what other way really to do this? Just be really gentle. Um, <coughs> very fiddly, indeed. Um, So the speakers are in. That was quite fiddly. Um, okay, right. Uh, okay, so that's pretty much it. We're going to put these back in there. Um, 
Again, these are uh, these are pretty fiddly actually. This this is the digitizer connectors here. Uh, on the screen. Um, again, um, you've just got to be really, really. Excuse that noise. Yeah, it's just sort of, again, there's not <laughs> really right or wrong way to do this. Um, they are fiddly. Um, yeah, it just takes time and patience, um, as you can tell. Um, right, so uh, battery. I'll go next. Just sit in here like this. Okay. That's pretty much it. Oh, my tea's getting warm, not good. Let's, let's um, just turn this on here. Um, hopefully. Um, aha, yes, it works. Okay, so there we go. Uh, obviously, you're going to have to put the cover back on. Um, but once that's just clips back in, um, uh, yeah, that's it. We have a working huddle. Uh, so yeah, there you go. That's how you replace a digitizer and LCD screen assembly on a Tesco Huddle 2. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Uh, please check out some of my other tutorial videos and uh, subscribe, give us a like and see you soon. Cheers.